My name is Yusuf Haddad and I'm an Israeli Arab from Nazareth. And from an Arab to an Arab, I have a message for US representative Rashida Tlaib. In the last week, while my country has been bombarded with terrorist rockets, she has exclusively condemned Israel and spread false stories to her millions of followers. In her speech, she complained that US officials support Israel's right to self-defense, but... You'd hardly know Palestinians existed at all. There has been no recognition of the attack on Palestinian families being ripped from their homes in East Jerusalem right now. No mention of children being detained or murdered. No recognition of a sustained campaign of harassment and terror. Really? How about how you have spent a week bashing my country with no mention of the fact a six-year-old child was murdered by Hamas? No mention of the 1,600 plus rocket, each one a war crime, fired at my family and friends. No mention of the fact that Hamas murdered Israeli Arab Muslims in Lod. No mention of the fact that Palestinians started a violent riot at Al-Aqsa, which is why police were forced to involve in the first place. No mention of the fact that this terrorist organization is targeting 1.9 million Israeli Arabs, or that they have already murdered 17 Palestinians in Gaza with rockets intended to hit Israel. Do those Palestinians' lives not matter, Rashida? But there is more. How would you feel it if you lived in Gaza where your power and water might be out for days or weeks at a time? Oh, I'm so glad you mentioned that because this week it was Hamas who knocked out electricity for 250 Palestinians with a rocket, something they've done many times before. Then again, none of this really surprising since it's all about you. You're hijacking the black struggle in America to make it about yourself. But Arabs in Israel and Palestinians have nothing to do with America's history of racism. Rashida, I'm telling you, as an Arab Israeli on the ground, your words contribute to division and violence in my country where you don't have to live with the consequences. Represent your people in Michigan because you're sure as hell with Matlinash. You don't represent us.